Hi, welcome to Short Run Pro's video series on various manufacturing topics. Uh, today is going to be part one of a series on uh, reading and understanding uh, and creating mechanical drawings uh, for, for use in your sketches or uh, understanding the drawings that we create for you uh, after your order has been placed. Um, I'm specifically going to talk about a little bit about third angle and first angle projection um, and how those multiple views, uh, what that matters to you. When you have a part and you want to, uh, you want to put, put your dimensions on it, you want to draw it, you want to put it onto a, uh, a piece of paper so that people can understand how to make this part, the best way to do it is with multiple views. So you need to get like a front view, a side view, and a top-down view are the, most, are the three most common views. Uh, but depending on the part, you may need more, you may need less, uh, but those are the three main views uh, that we use in most applications. Question becomes, where do we put these on the drawing? Some people will just draw a part, a part here, and a part over here, and a part over here, and a part over here, and say this is the top, this is the bottom, and, uh, and such like that. And it can get confusing. So there's actually a, uh, a set of rules. In North America, most people use uh, third angle projection. Parts of Europe uh, will, use, uh, will use first angle projection. But since third angle projection is the most common for us, that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, if, you, if you really want to uh, want any more information on first angle projection, there's a lot of information out there. Or you can uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. But uh, the trick to third angle projection is you got to think of a bowl. So looking straight down here, so we've got a flat part, we've got a curve, there's a hole up there, and we got a dotted line. Now what we want to do is this is where we get we get the uh, this is where the bowl comes into play. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll take the bowl. This is where the bowl comes into play, and we put the part in there. We've got our our front view, like that. So we put it right there in the bottom. And now, to find the part that goes right here, the view that goes right there, we rotate it on the bowl. It just comes up the side, and there it is, like that. So now, that's what we want. We want it to look like that. You can decide what is the top of your part. If I put it, if I put it like this, if I hold it like this, I, I, you might say, "Okay, this is the top. That's what the top of the part is." Well, if you put it like that, well, okay, now that's the top of the part. So it's all it's all relative as to the position. So you can uh, you can adjust uh, what the starting position is. So you can start adjust what the front view is. You can't adjust. Um, the other positions. It all has to be, be uh, uh, consistent once you start, but, when, but you can start wherever you want. So we've got a, uh, a little U like this. And we've got the holes. This is the uh, hidden lines of the holes. OK, so that is our side view. So we'll have a top, and actually we'll have a bottom, because I, or uh, this would be front view, side view, and um, I'd usually do a top view, but I didn't leave myself enough room on the board, so I'll just do a bottom view. That's fine. Again, you start it, you start there, and you rotate it down like that. So what you'll see is a flat plate, and all the all the hidden lines are behind there. These dotted lines are hidden lines, which I'll, which is. Uh, talked about in another segment of these these drawing this drawing view uh, series so there we have our three views it gives for this particular part that'll give us all the information we need to uh, to dimension it so you can put the uh, the length down here like this and let's see what, what is that that's about inch and a half and you can do fill out all the dimensions now what the advantage of this is as you can see, if this is one and a half inches, these lines will line up, and this is one and a half, one and a half inches. So that makes sense. 
So we don't have to put the same dimension on there twice, because once we put it here, it just carries through all the way up in those same, uh, in those same lines. So that's a little bit about how to uh, read a mechanical drawing. You'll get uh, drawings from us uh, after you've placed your order for a custom part. We'll send you drawings. Now you know how to read that, uh, read that drawing correctly. Um, if you have any questions or comments uh, on this, uh, you can leave, a, leave a, your message in the comments section. You can send us an email, uh, at, uh, or you can always find us at www.shortrunpro.com. Uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time.